Friday Night Blitz is sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. This is the Knoxville soon section. You're watching Friday Night Blitz. Yeah! Well, welcome into Friday Night Blitz. I'm Raina Garcia, joined by Jake Brand. And Jake, our game of the week this week features two teams that have made some improvements this year. Crested obviously having a breakout season so far with some impressive wins under their belt. While Knoxville doesn't necessarily have the wins to show for it, but they have definitely taken some steps forward. And they have another thing in common, too. They're both the Panthers. That's true. <laughs> might make this a little bit confusing coming up, but both teams are in proud communities and having sort of different seasons on the field. It's been a rough few years for Knoxville. They've won just one game each of the last three seasons, but this year they've doubled that win total and have started to flip the culture. I've seen a lot of things change, like culture-wise, and then everybody's kind of on the same page. Everybody's working more at practice and stuff like that. With that, they are now growing the program now and down the road. Our younger generation is is seeing the culture change and they're and they're hungry for for Knoxville football and wanting to play and win football games. And we want to make sure that we're working with our youth programs and getting those numbers up and continuing to keep those up um, and then following those through the middle school years and then when I get to high school. On the other sideline, Creston is off to their first 6-0 start since 2016. Last season, the Panthers started 5-0 but dropped four of their last five. Take a couple losses against tough teams, but this year it feels pretty good to get past those tough teams and be 6-0 right now. The Creston senior class is made up of 25 guys, which is unprecedented for their community. I've been here for numerous years under Coach Brookstrom. He's a Hall of Fame coach. This is, this is the biggest class that they've had dating back to the 70s. Our middle school coaches always hyped us up. Uh, back then they said this is a team that can go to the Dome and we believed it. We knew that we could do great things if we kept working at it and it's working out so far. Every single one of us has a different leadership role. So we all have our own way of leading and kind of helping the team out. Every day we show up, we know what to expect. The senior leadership is treating every game the same as the weather gets colder. And there's no letting up every week when district play starts and we know that. So we're gonna come in Friday ready to play. Game of the Week, sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. Let's do it. Game of the Week, Week 7. Knoxville rocking the all-black unis, Creston, and the white tops, white helmets. First play of the game starts with a bang. Knoxville kicks to Weston Trap, and as Admiral Akbar would say, it's a trap. He goes the distance pretty much untouched. You do not see that on kickoff returns. That's an impressive play to put the away Panthers up 7-0. Creston knocking on the door again. Kale Turner rolls out, going forward on fourth down, throws back across his body, and it is intercepted by Connor Willis. Good play for Knoxville. They don't capitalize. Creston in the red zone now. It's trap again on the Wildcat keeper. Creston takes a 14-0 advantage. We move to the second quarter. Creston doing what they do best, going through the air. It's Kale Turner to Kaysen Dryden. Untouched, 55 yards. Creston goes up 21-0, and they move to 7-0, 56-14. The Des Moines Christian Lions trying to get back in the win column tonight, hosting Roland Story. Heston Johnson gets the sto scoring started with an 18-yard rushing touchdown to put Roland Story ahead. We'll move to the second quarter now. Jonathan Wilkinson showing some nice patience here, then just plows forward for the touchdown. The Norsemen go up 14 the extra points. Nice dance moves, by the way. But the Lions fire back with just under five to play before the half. Davis Tokheim with a nice spin move stays on his feet to get the Lions on the board. But Roland Story wins this one 41 to 14, extending their win streak to three games. <laughs> A top 10 matchup in 4 a Bondurant for our hosting undefeated top ranked Gilbert. The Tigers with the ball. Connor Rash avoids the pressure, takes a hit, and finds Alden short. 7-0. Tigers take the lead. And they were hounding the Blue Jay offense in this first half. Somehow still 7-0. Jordan Ryle rolls out. Throws it up and it is picked off by Nash Hansen. Bounces off a helmet. 
but the Tigers don't capitalize. Bondurant has the ball in the Wildcat. Cram hands off to the QB, Ryle, and he throws a dime to Cole Miller. That kid's a great point guard, too. That ties it at seven, and Bondurant completely rolls in the second half, 38 to seven. Well, we are just getting started here on Friday Night Blitz. When we come back, after 45 years since its inception, a beloved ADM tradition is still going strong. How they're paying tribute to the man who made it all happen. Saturday, ACC football on the CW continues as running back sensation Rasheen Ali takes Marshall's rushing attack on the road to NC State. Can the Wolfpack defense hold back the thundering herd and take the red and white in for the win? This is college football, Marshall, NC State. Saturday on CW Iowa. Wyckoff Heating and Cooling gives you peace of mind, as in no worries. It's knowing the Wyckoff family is standing by to help keep your family comfortable this season. It's knowing that Wyckoff always has competitive financing options to fit your family's budget, including no interest and no payments on any new installation. Peace of mind. That's what Wyckoff Heating and Cooling wants for your family. Wyckoff, put peace of mind under your roof. Visit WyckoffComfort.com. Why do I need vaccinations? If I don't get vaccinated, how sick could I get? Can I get multiple vaccines at once? What's done to make sure vaccines are safe? It's important to address your concerns about vaccines. Just make sure to get answers from people you can trust. Not from a social post or an opinion on the internet. Ask me. Ask me. Ask me, because I know you, and I'll always put your health first. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. You can be a part of Friday Night Blitz with just your phone. Easily share your great photos and video with me or me on the We Are Iowa app. Click share with us, enter the details, and submit. Then watch for your content on Local 5's Friday Night Blitz, Fridays at 1035. At Bet365, we don't do ordinary. We have more boosts than anyone else. We power up the odds on hundreds of bets with Bet Boost. We give you the option to increase your profit with our incredible Profit Boost. And just when you think you can't get better odds, we unleash the Super Boost. Check out our boosts and see why. It's never ordinary at Bet365. Time for play of the week nominee number one. We just saw it. First play of the game opens with a bang. It's Weston Trap of Creston taking it to the house. Again, first play of the game kick return. That might be a theme for later in the show. Well, if you've ever been to an ADM football game, you're probably familiar with the fireworks that go off after every ADM touchdown. Their tradition dates all the way back to 1978 and is still going strong 45 years later. Before the game begins, and with every Tiger touchdown, a loud boom can be heard immediately after. The booms, as they call it, have become a staple for ADM. We get a lot of questions from visitors that come to our complex and say, hey, are you guys still doing the booms? We've heard about the booms. And when you get new people that come in and play at ADM at Tiger Stadium for the first time, to be able to show that. And, you know, it, it builds a sense of pride in the community. It also is a great atmosphere. It shows the importance to our kids about how much we value the hard work that they do and how we celebrate it. It all started with former ADM athletic director Bill Kimber. He brought it after getting an idea at a different school down south in Missouri and uh, brought it back here. And the next day they got a, 
a little phone call from the police department in town saying, uh, do you have a permit for those fireworks you're letting off? After a permit was secured, the rest was history. And that boom just happens and, and you, it's fun to look around and see who's not ready for it. And as soon as it, it really shakes the stadium. And you know, it's even spilled forward into some of our other activities, you know, where our volleyball, when we have a, a outstanding spike, our kids will do a boom there. The recent addition of a sign paying tribute to Kimber at the entry gate ensures that the legacy of the beloved Boobs creator will live on at Tiger Stadium. Well, tonight the Tigers looking to keep the Boom Squad busy against Ballard. The first drive of the game for the Tigers. Just another week of Aiden Flora doing Aiden Flora things. He finds an opening. Good luck trying to catch him. He takes this one 57 yards all the way to the house to give ADM an early lead. But the Bombers had a pretty good run the game going in this one too. Eli Rouse on the carry, getting shifty, making guys miss until he is finally brought down inside the 10 yard line. Ballard making their trip inside the red zone count. Mason Gatchel finds his way around the pile and waltzes in for the touchdown. The Bombers tie things up after the extra point, but how about little deja vu here in the second quarter? Flora again breaking off a huge run up the middle, then out to the edge, beats everyone in a foot race down the sidelines. This time it's a 59 yard touchdown run to regain the lead, and the ADM would come through on defense as well right after that, causing a fumble and getting their offense the ball right back. They're able to turn that into points with yet another rushing touchdown from Flora. Hey, no helmet, no problem. The Tigers go on to get a close win over Ballard 20 to 13. Waukee Northwest hosting the Bulldogs of Ottumwa. We start this one with the Wolves up by two touchdowns and sophomore Ryan Woodruff takes the handoff and tumbles his way in 21-0 Northwest. Again, Northwest with the ball. Sam Johnson, the quarterback, passes to a wide open Caleb Eaton. He runs in for a touchdown. Wolves go up 28-0. Now Otumwa trying to get on the scoreboard, but the toss is fumbled, and Harry Linen takes it in for six. That's a scoop and score to put Northwest up big, and they win big, 76-14. Well, we're going to take a quick break, but when Friday Night Blitz returns, he's emerged as one of AIM's most dynamic playmakers this season. But it wasn't something many saw coming, how sophomore quarterback Cameron Cantonwine has managed to have a breakout season for the Little Cyclones. Aqua Living has finally made owning a hot tub affordable, selling directly to the consumer, saving you thousands. We are the manufacturer. With our in-house financing, we offer 100% approvals, with payments as low as $59 a month. Shop now at shophottubs.com. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. You know, they say that friendship can be a tough nut to crack. But if you're lucky enough, you can find a friend to pick you up. Lift your spirits. Show you the savory side of life. But then again, <laughs> I reckon that's Fairway in a nutshell. Because at Fairway, you're family. Get 11% off everything now at Menards. Check out our lighting showroom and update your home with the latest trendy styles and finishes. Patriot Lighting provides a large selection of finishes and designs so you're sure to find a style at a price that's right for you. With more than 140 stock lights priced under $50. The Torian Outdoor Wall Light is $11.97 after rebate. Visit our lighting showroom or check out all our lighting options on Menards.com. Save big money at Menards. This is you, and you are why we do what we do. Each and every one of you are wonderful, amazing people. So we'll treat you that way on your journey of trusted care, because the way you, 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 and you feel matters. Unity Point Health. Know how much you matter to this world. 
At Local 5, we value our community. Because we are a part of it. We advocate. Celebrate. With you. Local 5 News, your stories, our community. We are Iowa. America's number one hot tub manufacturer states this fact, made in the USA. All our hot tubs are built right here. Selling hot tubs directly to you saves you thousands while keeping jobs here in the USA. Shop us now at shophottubs.com. Inside the Huddle, sponsored by Des Moines Orthopedic Surgeons. AIM sophomore Cameron Canton winds emergence as one of the team's top playmakers was a bit unexpected, especially considering how young he is and the fact that he's taken on a new position, but he stepped into the role with confidence and it shows in his play. Even as a freshman, it was apparent that Cameron Cantonwine had a lot of potential to be a difference maker. We knew Cameron was a really good athlete. He started every game last year as a ninth grader in Class 5A. Had to play him at quarterback week one, and he just looked like an athlete playing quarterback. The transition to quarterback hasn't been easy. I had to step in at quarterback week one, didn't really do well, so had a couple of doubts at the beginning of the year. One thing that's helped him find success is his running ability. It's become a big part of his game, and he's even the team's leading rusher. He runs like a fullback, which is just different. Because I think for the defense, you really have to load the box to it. Because, I mean, he's such a physical hard runner, which is a little bit different. I kind of think of it as like Isaiah Pacheco and Marshawn Lynch kind of think, just run through a guy, he won't want to hit you again. So I kind of try and get in their heads early, just run hard. As the season goes on, Cameron continues to grow into his new role. And it's something the team is excited about moving forward. And to his credit, He's taking on the position, he's learning, he's watching more film, he's really become a quarterback, and I think you're seeing him just scratch the surface on what he can do. The Little Cyclones on the road tonight against Marshall Town, up seven. Cameron Canton wind showing out tonight. He takes this one in from nine yards out. I'll move to later in the first. Canton wind again. Another rushing touchdown, his third on the night. We'll see plenty more of that. But in the second quarter, the Bobcats getting some pressure on him. Davis Raglan comes through with the pick six to get the Bobcats on the board before the half. Third quarter, Canton wind just going off tonight on the ground. He gets his sixth rushing touchdown of the game to make it 41 to six and Ames rolls past Marshalltown tonight 48 to 14. A battle of the two Urbandale schools Dowling and Urbandale opening kickoff the Jayhawks kick to Rashad Davis and that might have been a mistake he shows off his burst breaking through the first line gets on the sideline nobody's gonna catch him 97 yards to open the game. You can't start any better than that. 7-0 Maroons. And then it's, again, Rashad Davis. When nothing's working, give it to Rashad. He scores. Dowling takes a 14-0 lead. Then the Maroons try a pretty smart strategy. <laughs> Throw it over to Matthew Hanton, in, or no, sorry, to Hank Brown from Matthew Hanton. He scores from 15 out, and Dowling goes on to win 29 to zero. On to our next game. It's the undefeated Madrid Tigers hosting the North Mahaska Warhawks. Opening kickoff, Tyler Fuller taking this one for the Tigers. He's going to somehow avoid a couple of Warhawk defenders with a couple of side steps and then take it down the sidelines, doing a little tightrope action there. Takes it all the way back for a touchdown, giving Madrid a 6 nothing lead early in the first quarter. That's the second opening kickoff return for a touchdown we see tonight. But then uh, first North Mahaska possession. How about the Tiger defense here? Kyle Kruckenberg gets the interception and that will come back to haunt the Warhawks first play after the pick Tigers will back with the quarterback keeper and Preston Wicker takes it the distance in for the touchdown Tigers up 14 to nothing next Madrid offense possess offensive possession Wicker hands it off to Nash Ramirez just trucking dudes on his way to the end zone there and looks like Madrid goes on to win this one pretty handily 41 nothing over North Mahaska Roosevelt hosting Ankeny Centennial. Jags get the ball first, and they kick it to Lawson Langford. Of course, it's been the theme of the night. Opening kickoffs returned for a touchdown, and Langford somehow breaks out of that pack, goes down the sidelines, gets a little push. 
That's the fourth we've seen. That's the third I've called. Unbelievable start, 6-0 Centennial. Second quarter, Trenton Smith to Chase Shuddy. 27 yards, Jags go up 13-0. And we're still in the second quarter. Smith hands it off to Elijah Porter. Touchdown Centennial. They handle the Rough Riders 43-7. Over in Waukee, the Warriors hosting Southeast Polk. We'll start in the second quarter. Connor Moberly finds Carson Robbins over the middle. He does the rest for a 70-yard touchdown. Rams lead at 13 to nothing. Now, on the ensuing kickoff, things not going so good for Waukee. Waukee's George Hinkey here trying to switch directions, but then he's ultimately going to get hit by a swarm of Ram defenders. That ball is going to come out there, and it's recovered by Nick Aarons for Southeast Polk. But, hey, you got to give it up to the Waukee defense here. They made the Rams settle for a field goal, but the Warriors now down 16. We're back to another kickoff. Doesn't go much better this time. Henrik Nimley has the ball. We saw him return one to the house last week. This time he fumbles. This was their second of the game. It's recovered by Noah Trexel for the Rams. And literally the same result, though. The Waukee defense holding strong again, holding Southeast Polk to a field goal. But this one was all Rams tonight. 38 to nothing over Waukee. Well, there's still plenty more to come here on Friday Night Blitz. On the other side of the break, we'll take a look at last week's matchup between Lamoni and Southeast Warren in the Dome Dynasty recap. At Taco John's, we never judge a book by its cover. But if the cover is a one-of-a-kind flatbread coated in aged cheddar, crispy shredded potatoes, and our signature potato lay seasoning, we say judge the shell out of it. New Cheddar Crunch Tacos, only at Taco John's. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. For 46 years straight, more of you have trusted Ford F-Series trucks to help save the day, stretch the weekend, haul, or tow, just about anything, anywhere. That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Because this isn't just about our capability, it's about yours. Exciting news, U.S. Cellular has the amazing new iPhone 15 Pro. With a stunning titanium design and the best iPhone camera yet. The thing that Cut. I love... Hmm? Beautiful. Now let's cue the music. Green screen. Huh? And action. U.S. Cellular has the amazing new iPhone. Come on, man, it's titanium. U.S. Cellular has the amazing new iPhone. Cut. Love it. I felt good. New and current customers can get the titanium iPhone 15 Pro on us. U.S. Cellular, built for us. We love the Iowa State Fair! Sun is strong, but so is the fun. The energy, you can feel it. Everybody's so excited to be out here. It's the people out here coming up. Stop on by the Weather Lab. Our state's creativity is on display here. Hundreds of ducks around the Iowa State Fair to spread our happiness. I love farm kids. I think they're some of the hardest working people I know. The tradition as old as time, the husband calling contest. Jeanette! It's the end of the best days ever. We appreciated you sticking with us the whole time. Monday Night Football! If money talked, it would tell you about the premium ingredients on Taco John's Valuous menu starting at one, two, or three bucks. Hand-cut sirloin steak, crispy fried chicken, and fresh pico. And if your appetite talked, it would say cha-ching. The valuest menu only at Taco John's. Now our second play of the week nominee comes to us from Madrid. We just saw this a little bit ago. Tyler Fuller doing some nice sidestep in there. Like I said, doing the tie rope down the sidelines. Take this, takes this one all the way back to the house for a sixth. Like Jake said earlier, it's a common theme tonight. All these kickoff returns, pretty impressive. 
We had a really good district matchup on our hand tonight between Harlan and Nevada, which is where we send it out to Dave Bingham for the highlights. Well, Brad Edwards delivered. It's finally football weather and we love it. And you know it's really football when Harlan comes to town. They came to Nevada tonight. You're talking about one of the best programs maybe in the country. 14 state championships, back-to-back -back champions. Cubs had their work cut out for them. Senior night and a big one for the Cubs. Defense coming out to play early. Will Arkfeld back to pass for the Cyclones and Kyle Kingsbury with the interception. They wouldn't cash in on any points here. Harlan gets the ball back and once again, it's Kingsbury. Jumps the pass, gets the pick. This sets up the Cubs. Connor King looking and who else is he gonna find here? Somebody's an athlete. What a catch, rips it away. Touchdown, Cubs up seven zip. Good. Then they get the ground game going. Kaysen Stevenson, this guy trying to push himself over a thousand yards on the season, takes this one to the house. 14 zip, Cubs. More King with the whip here. Kingsbury with the Nene, another amazing grab. King would follow it up with another touchdown pass. This one to Will Palmer, this guy's a dude. Nevada with another touchdown. Plenty of highlights to show you. We'll do that on our Dome Dynasty social media, but 39 to 20. The Cubs hold on to win this one against Harlan. What a big night for them on senior night. They're going to celebrate, and we'll show you a lot of that next week right here on the Friday Night Blitz. And, of course, you can always see it on our Dome Dynasty social media, as I mentioned before. We appreciate you joining us. Send it back to you guys in the studio. Well, last night, Lincoln hosting Sioux City East on senior night. The rails draw first blood. Harry Sturr gets the handoff, mashes his way towards the goal line, gets swarmed by white jerseys, but gets some good push from his guys to get him into the end zone for the touchdown. But Sioux City East would respond. Quinton Ashcraft with the catch and run for Sioux City East. He takes it in for the score, and Sioux City East takes a 7-6 lead over Lincoln. Still in the first, Black Raiders with the ball. J.J. Gosh punches it in to extend their lead to 8 after the extra point, but the rails fired back up in the second quarter. Wesley on the carry keeps those legs churning and wills his way in for a touchdown to pull Lincoln within two. Sioux City East runs away with this one, though. They defeat Lincoln 45 to 18. Southeast Warren has dominated the series over Lamoni over the last several years, and last week they added another win to extend their series win streak to three. Dave Bingham has this week's Dome Dynasty recap. Things that are worth doing in life are always hard, right? We know this is going to be a tough game, right? We know it. And you got to be willing to match that intensity, right? Be near me early. I got it in the top 15. Ewing rolling left, wants to pass. Under pressure, gets away, now he's going to keep it. Plenty of running room, heads out right, down the hash, down the numbers, down the sideline. Finally drug out of bounds. Ewing right up the middle, diving forward and he's in. Jameson Ewing in for the touchdown and the Warhawks are on the board. Ewing rolling out right, looking, fires in. End zone, it's caught by Brogan Ewing. Let's go, man. Get them hyped up. We're just kind of going through the motions, all right? Let's get it going a little bit here. Have some fun. Let's go. Ewing straight back to pass. Looks, fires deep over the middle. Pass is caught. That's Beardsley diving for that catch. Big play for the Warhawks. Ewing rolling left, looking in the end zone. Fires. It's complete to Brogan Ewing. Jamison to Brogan. Ewing bobbles the snap, collects it. Eludes the first tackler. Now he's running left into the end zone. Two-point conversion is good. Lindgren in motion. Savage keeps it himself. Left side, running room. Now he's broken free and he's down the sideline. One man to beat and he's gonna do it. All the way into the end zone for a touchdown. Savage gets the demons on the board. Ewing calls his own number. Right side, busts it out. Still on his feet, making people miss down the sideline. Good job, good job. Ewing fires quick pass to Brogan Ewing, and he's down the sideline. He is in the end zone. Ewing looking, looking, scrambling right. Now he heads for the pylon, corner of the end zone, and the extra point conversion is good. Second and short, low snap. Savage gathers it, wants to pass, flips the ball right across the middle. Ewing rolling right, firing, complete. 
Ewing. Rolls left, fires deep down the field, and it's complete to Beardsley. Another long hookup from Ewing to Beardsley. Ewing just going to keep this one himself. Goes right up the middle and into the end zone. Great blocking by the Warhawks. Very high snap. Savage loses the handle, takes a bad bounce, heading for the end zone. Southeast Warren's there to collect it. Whoa. Ewing runs left, looks left. Now he fires deep downfield, and it's complete. Ewing looks to pass under pressure, gets it away to Beardsley. Right side, track meet. Oh, Beardsley was on his way to the end zone, but he was caught from behind. First and goal, Ewing rolling left, fires into the end zone, connects with Ewing again. Ewing back to pass, looks right, then he across the middle and complete to Derking for the two-point conversion. Savage avoids pressure initially, but then he's brought down by Jamison Ewing. Savage wants to pass. Tackled as he throws, and it's picked off by Halderman. And that will do it for tonight. The two big games coming up here. All right, Lennox and Bedford, all right? Postseason football starts now. Take me home, country road. Well, don't go anywhere because when we come back, Dave Bingham will catch up with our Coach of the Week. Not all internet is created 10G. That's why more people are excited about the game-changing power of Extreme. We didn't stop at a fiber-powered network. We went further. Extreme's 10G platform brings a new level of fast, up and down. Plus, better than ever whole home Wi-Fi and new built-in threat detection to keep your internet safe and secure. With the power of Extreme 10G, you're going to be unstoppable. At Mission, we're able to offer patients an environment that is cutting edge, collaborative. The great multidisciplinary team approach to cancer care can save lives. Approach number one is to keep up on the research and to keep up on the science. Everything is changing with medical oncology constantly. There are new treatments and new cures. Where they're not only surviving, but really thriving after that cancer story. Hi, this is Chris from Fireplace Superstore, and if this year is anything like last year, folks are going to be coming in early to get things for their houses. What you need is a high-efficient gas insert from Heat & Glow. Come in now and beat the rush, and Heat & Glow will help you out with some special promotions on gas inserts. We'll be doing up to $200 off on our gas metal inserts to retrofit into your drafty old wood fireplace. Come early, beat the rush. Fireplace Superstore, 109th and Douglas in Urbandale. Local 5 is proud to be nominated for five regional Emmy Awards for telling your stories of friendship and compassion. The goal was to bring awareness to cancer, but through that process, you know, I, I got a friend. For highlighting our community's strength and resiliency. Amazing how many people came. We're Madison County strong here. For allowing you to share your authentic self. It can feel like a loss. The way I would ask people to reframe that, you're getting someone better. For these and more local stories, visit weareiowa.com. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. At Local 5, we walk alongside you. The energy is so contagious. We were so excited to be out there. Because what makes you unique is worth celebrating. Local 5 News, your stories, our community. We are Iowa. Coach of the Week, sponsored by Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. Well, the Nevada Cubs pulled off a huge win over Harlan on senior night. And we'll send it back out to Dave Bingham, who's with our Coach of the Week. All right, we're back on the Friday Night Blitz, our Wyckoff Heating and Cooling Coach of the Week, Andrew Kleeman. I mean, Harlan. Uh, you played at a power program with a great coach. Uh, this one meant a lot, and you said at the beginning, in the locker room, you know, it's going to take every 
ounce of toughness, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, your kids did that tonight. They absolutely did. We didn't play the cleanest game, but we played a really tough game. And whenever you match up with against, against Harlan, you know they are going to be a tough out. And, and, they, and they were tonight, and I thought our kids made plays. I'm really proud of their effort. And yeah, to beat a team like, like Harlan that's, that's gotten the best of us for the last two years in the quarterfinals, that's a special thing for our seniors, especially on senior night. Yeah. You came out, your kids are, were fired up. Mm -hmm. I mean, you were ready to play this yeah. football game. And that, and that says a lot about where you're at. Is there something special going on with this group? I just think, you know, over the past few years, we've been steadily, you know, building momentum. You know, historically, we haven't had a lot of success if you look back at past decades, but our kids have learned to win and they expect to win and they've prepared to win. And, you know, that's what I think it's kind of culminated in a fun night like tonight, but we still have so much to play for, but we're going to enjoy this one. Yeah, for sure. What is it like as a coach to get them fired up, get them ready mm -hmm. to go and then Throughout the whole game, we got your mic, right? <laughs> throughout the whole game, you're like, my gosh, and then and then at the end to have that much fun. You yeah. you went through every range yeah. of emotion well, that's, that a human being can go through. That's a, a high school football game. I mean, you're going to go through lots of emotions. <laughs> it's a roller coaster, uh, and that's just part of the game. It's a very passionate game. But I, I'm really proud of our kids. And and there's at the end of the day, they're high school kids. Yeah. They're going to make mistakes, and you know sometimes uh, you know they're they're not at the best of times. But you got to handle it, and so do they. And I thought our kids did a great job. Yeah. Well, we could talk to you forever. I'd love yeah. to talk to you about yeah. your coach and that influence, mm -hmm. but you're doing a great job with kids, nice. and we appreciate it. Yeah. All right, that's our White Cop Heating yeah. and Cooling Coach of the Week right here. Yeah. Coach Kleeman, we'll send it back to you in the studio. <laughs> All right, well, it is time to take a look around social media to see what people had to say about tonight's games. There were definitely a lot of good ones, so let's get into it. Um, this one looks like it's the final score from Kimber Catholic getting the win over Saydell. They are having a pretty good season so far. I think maybe only one loss on the season, I believe. Something yeah, like that. It looks like five and oh, five and two. two there we go. It says there they wrap up the district the a week early. They get to rest a little bit next week. Sounds like actually they'll probably be playing to win just like any other team here. Southeast Polk. What a statement. 38 nothing over Waukee to stay undefeated. The number one and number two team in 5A. Yeah, that's no easy Both task. Shut out wins tonight. Yeah, well, Milwaukee's a tough team, so just shows you how dominant Southeast Polk is. This is an after an interception. I don't know if that's a cheerleader, or just a oh, just a student doing some push-ups. I wonder how many he had to do tonight. I think Dowling <laughs> won 29-0. I'd be impressed to see if he did. I I can't do that math. Some good exercise. It's, it's there. a lot of push-ups. <laughs> All right. Well. Looking like we have special guests in the, the student section tonight. Is that uh, oh, Mike Pence? Interesting. Wow. How about that for, for Friday night? That you is so funny. You can chalk that up as something that I did not expect <laughs> to see tonight, hanging out in Atlantic. And then, yeah, I love this one. Thank you to the, all the officials, not only working this game between Indianola and North Polk, but working every game across the state, across the country. The games would not happen without officials. Yeah, so again, thank you so much. We appreciate you for all you do. And this is mine. So this was at Knoxville. This is the Panther Walk, a new tradition that I learned tonight. So their high school is about a mile away from the field that they play at. They get escorted from fire trucks, the fire department, and the team walks all the way over with the cheerleaders, the dance team. And they said that usually when it's warmer, there's a bigger crowd, but they weren't uh, <laughs> they weren't out there an hour and a half early. But there's definitely a few of them. It was a really really cool tradition. Yeah. To see happen. Oh, that's awesome. Well, this was, comes from our very own Rachel Winty. Definitely uh, some nice photography there. Definitely wow. beautiful skies. She was over at the Waukee Southeast Polk game and looked beautiful. Just a little chilly for my liking. I think the wind is kind of what did it for me. But otherwise, I'm ready for fall to be here. It looks like it is. You're turning into an island. It would be so bad <laughs> if it weren't for the wind. Definitely. Well, it's time to take another quick break. But coming up next on Friday Night Blitz, we'll introduce you to this week's Fan of the Game.
It's replacement window season in America. Many companies sell vinyl windows, but did you know there is a better solution? Renewal by Anderson's Fibrix composite material won't warp or bow over time like vinyl can. It's no wonder our Fibrix windows are replacing vinyl as the better replacement window. So why not save some money this season with Renewal by Anderson? Act now and schedule your free window diagnosis and take advantage of this incredible limited time offer. Renewal by Anderson, the better way to a better window. 25 words or less. Cereal bowl. Killer. Full of frightful fun. I love Lisa's response to cereal. Killer. Do not have breakfast with Lisa. Five days a week. Weekdays at 4 and 4.30 on Local 5. Son of a Critch is a mother of a hit. Can I quote you on that? I have my sources. You sleep with your grandfather? Trust me, you will not notice him. Oh. Oh. I get my green second man. Rabbit eats the lettuce. I eat the rabbit. I'm really trying to focus on my comedy right now. Uh -huh. Even the fish have made it. He can only move diagonally. Son of a Critch, Mondays at 7 on CW Iowa. Football is back. Get ready for college football in Iowa with Cy Hawk Game Day. Join Local 5 every Saturday at 1030 when we break down everything you need to know before kickoff. Cy Hawk Game Day goes beyond the game with in-depth analysis of the teams, the keys to the game, and our picks on who's going to come out on top. Join Local 5 every Saturday at 1030 for an action-packed Cy Hawk Game Day. Cy Hawk Game Day is sponsored by Nissan. You can be a part of Friday Night Blitz with just your phone. Easily share your great photos and video with Near Me on the We Are Iowa app. Click Share with us, enter the details, and submit. Then watch for your content on Local 5's Friday Night Blitz, Fridays at 1035. Our third play of the week nominee, it's boring. It's another kickoff return for a touchdown to open the game. You're kidding. Rashad Davis, 97 yards. We had four of these to open a game tonight. I would put a lot of money that we will not have that happen again this year. Fan of the game, sponsored by Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. Typically, the front row of a student section is made up of only seniors. Freshmen, they start up top and they wait their turn. But in this case, our fan of the game was so passionate, he's earned the respect to sit up front as a sophomore. It's all seniors, but they know I'm the biggest fan. They let me in, which I really like, you know? It feels good. But, uh, you know, I'm excited to see what our team has to do. I mean, we, we played really well this season. Our record might not show it, but we played really well, and I think we're on the upward climb. Well, that's impressive, getting to sit in the front row as a sophomore. I had to wait. S I had to wait all four years to get up there, so credit to Brady because <laughs> you have to be doing something right to get, one, seniors to like you, two, to get them <laughs> to like you enough to go up to the front row. That's impressive. Yeah, and I liked his optimism about his team. He, that is why he probably got that seat in the front row. Yes. Well, it's time to take a look around to see which student sections were among the best out there tonight in our Friday Night Blitz fan cam. This is the Waukee student section. I always love looking at theirs because I love the bikini bottom theme. It looks like they were doing pink out. Um, I believe October is Breast Cancer Awareness yes. Month. So so a nice theme there. Yep, we've seen pink all over. Subban Durant had it on. NFL, of course, always has it. I don't know. What oh, this is, I believe, Southeast Polk. It was a uh, frat night. Oh, okay. Uh, hence all the backwards hat and sunglasses looking like frat boys there. Um, this was the a that was the ADM student section in all orange. This was the Ballard student section. They went with the comfy theme. Everyone in like snuggies and blankets. That's pretty good, smart. It was a good night for it. This was Knoxville construction theme. And then we flip to the other side. For Creston, not much of a theme, but I made that drive this week from Knoxville to Creston a solid two hours. So Ooh. their theme is being there because that's an impressive trip to make on a night like this. Yeah, we can give them honorary fans of the game just for making yes. th that trip. Well, we are moving right along here on Friday Night Blitz. And on the other side of the break, we'll reveal who won our play of the week.
Local 5, our goal is to go beyond reporting the big stories. We value our community because we are part of it. We stand together on the issues that impact us. And make an effort to understand where you are coming from, your concerns, your stories. That's why we go where you are. We advocate. Celebrate. With you. And strive to be that familiar face that you trust. Local 5 News, your stories, our community. We are Iowa. Attention ladies, need a jump start to losing weight? Venice Beach HRT has the secret that Hollywood stars use, peptide compounds. Venice Beach will help you become Hollywood hot right here in West Des Moines. Insurance is accepted. Visit us at venicebeachhrt.com or at West Glen Town Center. You know, they say that friendship can be a tough nut to crack. But if you're lucky enough, you can find a friend to pick you up. Lift your spirits. Show you the savory side of life. But then again, <laughs> I reckon that's Fairway in a nutshell. Because at Fairway, your family. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. This Saturday, ACC football on the CW continues as running back sensation Rasheen Ali takes Marshall's rushing attack on the road to NC State. Can the Wolfpack defense hold back the thundering herd and take the red and white in for the win? This is college football, Marshall, NC State. Saturday on CW Iowa. At Local 5, we value our community. Because we are a part of it. We advocate. Celebrate. With you. Local 5 News, your stories, our community. We are Iowa. Attention guys, sick of feeling tired and looking to gain muscle, lose weight, and be back to your old self in the bedroom? Venice Beach HRT treats low T. Venice Beach HRT will help you revive your drive. Insurance is accepted. Visit VeniceBeachHRT.com or visit us at West Glen Town Center. Play of the Week, sponsored by Taco John's. Well, we had some awesome plays tonight in the running for our play of the week. But, Jake, tell us who landed the number one spot this yeah, week. Yeah, we thank Dave Bingham for sending this one in. <laughs> it's Kyle Kingsbury going up, using his strength, and doing his best Randy Moss impression. What a catch for the touchdown. He also had a couple interceptions tonight. Yeah, I had himself a game. I mean, you can pretty much guarantee if you moss someone or you return a kickoff, you're probably going to land on our play of the week uh, list. So yeah, We had a four-way tie for second with four <laughs> kickoff returns Insane. for touchdowns on the first play of the game. That is unbelievable. I bet that didn't happen in any other state tonight. Yeah, there must be something in the water here yeah. going on in Central Iowa. I don't know. Well, with that, let's go ahead and tell everyone who will be featured in our next game of the week. Yeah, it's Urbandale and Johnston, two suburban schools not having the best of years, but they're still both in the running to make the playoffs. And they're also rivals. Their fiercest rivalry is in baseball, but it also does carry over to the football field. A lot of crossover. Will Nuss plays, I believe, first base for Johnston. He's their quarterback. So I'm excited for this one. Definitely it'll be good. Well, we're in the home stretch here on Friday Night Blitz, and after the break, we'll give away our game ball for week seven. <laughs> Taco John's, we never judge a book by its cover. But if the cover is a one-of-a-kind flatbread coated in aged cheddar, crispy shredded potatoes, and our signature potato LA seasoning, we say judge the shell out of it. New Cheddar Crunch Tacos, only at Taco John's. Peace of mind, as in no worries. Like when you sign up for peace of mind plan service with Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. It's knowing your heating and cooling system will be inspected each spring and fall and will be maintained at its highest level. It's knowing that for less than $21 a month, the Wyckoff family will take care of your family. Peace of mind. That's what Wyckoff Heating and Cooling is all about. Wyckoff, put peace of mind under your roof. Visit wyckoffcomfort.com. 
Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. The internet is buffering again. Are you trying to ruin my social life? I should probably just drop out of school. There's no Wi-Fi in the basement. It's dead zone. Spoiler alert. Everything glitches. Love you. It's all your fault. Can't escape the horrors of internet drama? Switch to Extreme and live in peace with an always-on, always-fast connection. Get internet and whole home Wi-Fi for as low as $24.99 a month for one year. When the weather is severe, here comes a cluster of storms. Local 5's coverage doesn't stop with the We Are Iowa app. Should be in our southeast counties, the strongest storms. We Are Iowa's most accurate forecast, anytime, anywhere, on the We Are Iowa app. If money talked, it would tell you about the premium ingredients on Taco John's valueous menu starting at one, two, or three bucks. Hand cut sirloin steak, crispy fried chicken, and fresh pico. And if your appetite talked, it would say cha ching. The valueous menu only at Taco John's. Game Ball, sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. Well, it's time now to give away our Game Ball for Week 7, and we saw some really great performances tonight, but it's got to go to Ames' Cameron Canton Wine. I mean, he had himself a day, I believe, what, six rushing touchdowns on the night? Five of them in the first half. Is that what... I believe the highlights. I believe so. And it's just so funny as you know, we saw in the inside the huddle, you know, he didn't start off, uh, you know, he wasn't intending to play quarterback. It just so happened that way. And he's really grown into the role. Talked about how he loves to run, loves to run through guys, over guys. And it shows. I mean, he dominated tonight. Yeah, he said he bases his game off of Pacheco of Kansas City, March on Lynch. And I can definitely see that. He, he's got a little Josh Allen in him, too. We'll get you this ball because Rain will be up there on Tuesday for Inside the Huddle, so that works out nicely. Yeah, every Tuesday. It's been fun hanging out in names. Well, throughout this season, we've heard from friends and family of the legendary football coach Ed Thomas on the impact he made on and off the field. And this week, former Waverly Shell Rug coach Mark Hubbard shares why it's important that Ed's legacy lives on. Probably a lot of people loved their high school football coach. Right, so what makes this so much more special that we're, we're honoring this? And I think, I think it's all those character traits that Ed had. And I think the further we get down into our society today, um, people, need to, people need anything that's good news, anything that's positive. And so, so the whole story itself, although tragic ending um, to his life here on earth, but, but you know, he lives forever in heaven and, 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 and his legacy lives forever here on earth. So, for, so for the sake of the award, I think it says a lot about small town Iowa and, and, and not necessarily small town, but your hometown and the pride that he exhibited in his hometown and, and never forgetting where you came from. You know, he said that all the time and, he, and you know, and, and he's, he's, he lived that, you know, he really thought that Parkersburg, Iowa was the best place in the world, you know, and, and it showed. All right, four quarters, everything you got tonight, everything you go, we're getting on a roll tonight, boys, and we're going to take a ride right here. Let's get her in. If nothing else, his optimism and the pride where he lived, I think, you know, either side of the aisle uh, doesn't matter. Uh, I think that's something our state can benefit from. And then the, the neat thing about this award that the association, the Coach Association has kept as a part of it um, is the faith element. You know, that's part of the application, right? Faith, family, and football. And so as you're going through these applications, and I've read a lot of them, um, you know, we want to see those applications continue to grow again. And that's getting tougher because, you know, these today's high school kids, they, they didn't know Ed Thomas. His life is just a wonderful parable and a wonderful story that people can learn so much from. So that's a story that we just need to keep telling, right? Because otherwise it will go away if the story doesn't keep getting told. Just a quick correction there. Mark was actually a former Waverly Shell Rock player and current head coach. Sorry for the confusion on that, but we're going to take one final break. But when we come back, Jake and I will give our final thoughts on week seven.
The internet is offering again. Are you trying to ruin my social life? I should probably just drop out of school. There's no Wi-Fi in the basement. It's dead zone. Spoiler alert. Everything glitches. Love the internet. It's all your fault. Can't escape the horrors of internet drama? Switch to Extreme and live in peace with an always-on, always-fast connection. Get internet and whole home Wi-Fi for as low as $24.99 a month for one year. Menards is the one-stop shop for everything you need. Get a truckload of savings and items you need every day for everyone in your household. We have it all, from big to small and everything in between. We have everything to help you breathe easier. DuPont Plus allergen air filters can reduce harmful airborne allergens by up to 80%. Right now, only $5.95 each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Go to Iowa Realty TV and check out YouTube, Facebook, and our home show at 10 on Sunday morning on Local 5. Featured home tours, community info, home design trends, and more. For what's happening in the housing market, it's iowarealty.tv. Men, are you feeling tired, gaining weight, unmotivated, or low libido? This is Low T. Schedule your FDA-approved testosterone evaluation and blood panel for only $97. Call Vero and ignite your testosterone today. All right, Jake, well, before we get out of here, what stood out to you most in week seven? Let's go to my game of the week. Creston off to a 6-0 start. I hadn't got to see them play at all, and I saw them up close tonight. They are legit. Moved to 7-0, and they'd already beat teams like Harlan, Lewis Central this year, teams they lost to a year ago. So they've made the next step. I'm really excited to see what they do as we get closer to the playoffs. Definitely. I think for me, it has to be Madrid, another undefeated team that I think has flown under the radar. They're a smaller school, but I mean, obviously something is working there for the Tigers for them to be 7-0 at this point. So they're a team I'm definitely keeping my eye on there. Yeah, and then two other 7-0 teams, Southeast Polk Dowling. Mm -hmm. I mentioned that earlier, but they have very clearly separated themselves as the top two teams in the state. Shutout wins mm -hmm. over Urbandale, over Waukee. Um, that's really impressive and that'll pay off down the road. Definitely. This is when you want to be playing your best ball and, you know, start making that trend upwards. Well, that is going to do it for us here on Friday Night Blitz. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you right back here next week.